Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Sunday, October 11th, 2015, around 8.17 in the evening in Bellica, Massachusetts. It's the sun went down. It was a nice day out. Great day for apple picking and taking a walk and riding your boat on the lake and stuff. It was a perfect fall day. Going to be a little bit of Indian summer tomorrow and Tuesday in New England. Then by next weekend, fall sets in. But I'm still hoping maybe we'll sneak in a 80 degree day before Daylight savings time and some news to report. New England Patriots beat the Dallas Cowboys by a score of 30 to 6. It's on to Indianapolis next. And also the Houston Astros beat the Kansas City Royals by a score of 4 to 2 to go up 2 1 in the Division Series, American League Division Series. Game 4 is tomorrow on Fox Sports 1. And that's about it on the news. My third and final video blog of the night is the personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is probably the one of the most great greatest players in New York Rangers history, Rod Gilbert. Gilbert played his entire 18-year career with the New York Rangers, holding many team records, including most goals scored and most points by a Rangers player. Rod was born and he grew up in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He played White Rain and he played junior hockey for the Go Up Bill Bill Moores of like the Ontario Hockey Association. And he actually almost didn't have an NHL career because he broke his fifth vertebrae in his back during his junior year. I mean, um, 1959-1960 season while playing junior hockey, and he almost lost his leg because blood clots formed, and it was a touch and go situation and stuff. But luckily, he survived that, and he was a, a decent junior player. The New York Rangers um, signed him in 1961, and he spent his 18-year career with the Rangers. Uh, he had 12 seasons where he scored 20 or more goals, 4 seasons, 50 or more assists, 8 times 75 or more point seasons, 8 times he played in the NHL All-Star game, 1 time he was the first NHL team, 1 time he was the second NHL team as well. Rangers, when, when Roger Bear started playing, they were well, like the worst team in the league next to the Bruins. It's a one in the 16 league. But the Rangers improved over his years. He was part of one of the most famous lines in National Hockey League history called the Gag Line, Go to Game Line, with Vic Tatefield and John Rattel. They were pretty good and stuff. The Rangers did not win a Stanley Cup during Rod Gio Bear's tenure, but they they made one um, Stanley Cup Finals in 1972. They lost to the Boston Bruins and stuff. Rod Gio Bear like played until like 1978 or so. Last few years of his career, he was suffering from a bad back and stuff due to probably his the, the vertebrae he broke in junior hockey he gave him pains like towards the end of his career. He retired. In 1978, and his career stats are 406 goals, 615 assists for 1,021 points. He scored 34 goals, had 33 assists, and for 77 points in the playoffs and stuff. And he was the first player in Rangers history to have his number retired, number seven, hanging up in the rafters at Madison Square Garden. He was honored by the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1982. He's a good will ambassador for the Rangers and stuff. He shows up to many of their alumni um, functions and stuff like that. He's probably the greatest 
New York Rangers players of all time, probably next to Marc Messier and stuff. And too bad he did not win a Stanley Cup during his tenure with the Rangers because he was probably a class act. And that's about it on Rod Gilbert. And that's about it on these video blogs. Small Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. You're going to get three more of these. First video blog will be about the top ten classic TV shows that should be made into movies. Second video blog is about my take on a proposed NBA expansion into Europe. And the third and final video blog of the night, the personality profile. Tomorrow's personality profile will be about Hockey Hall of Fame defenseman Brad Park. Like I always say, keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Winner guy. Molly Rosenblatt of Fox 35 Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart, so, so stunning, has nice legs. Amy Swansea Rocks has nice legs. Heidi Pratt has the best legs of them all. And in the words of Dr. Thomas Sharkey, this action will not be tolerated at BMHS. Coming soon to these video blogs, reveals on the Back to the Future Part 2, and Back to the Future Part 3, and The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. See you later.